Apple warns customers, consumers not to use webcam covers on their MacBooks. Here's why. The reason being is uh, customers are reporting their MacBooks cracking up uh, due to the webcam covers. I have a webcam cover on my 2015 MacBook Pro and I didn't have any problems and I, I have a screen protector too as well. No problems whatsoever on that. But honestly, I wanna make this video addressing what's the point why do people cover up their webcams like why we do have a webcam light indicating that the webcam is enabled just letting the users know but honestly there's a dark secret about that but what if i tell you there's some exploits or hackers to disable the webcam light from coming on so the indicator light is disabled but the webcam is on i heard about that situation my professor told me that's why he always cover up his webcam and that's why people are paranoid. They don't want to take the chances. Now, I understand Apple probably patched those things out. Um, you have the T2 chip, so there's literally no point of even covering up the webcam. And even if you close your MacBook, the webcam can't even come on at all. Flash, you remember Flash? Flash is basically dead now. Uh, there was an exploit where if you go into a bad website, they could turn on your webcam without you knowing. So that's why it was a major deal to cover up your webcam back in the days. I'm definitely a fan of covering up my webcam. Whenever I need it, I I slide it to the left. If I don't need it, I slide it to the right, and that's it. You know what I'm saying? So I, they, they're not gonna catch me slipping. But another thing too, another issue right now is uh, tech support scams. Now, let's say you don't know nothing about computers and you get a pop-up from Microsoft or a tech support scam. You call that number, you give them access to your computer, they can turn on that webcam and they can see you. And there, there goes your privacy. Be definitely cautious on who you allow access on your computer because there are some bad actors out there. I've seen it all. If you watch uh, Kibol, Kibol, Kiboga, I'm gonna throw him on screen. I can't even say his name right now. He does a fantastic job uh, you know, scam baiting, that's what they call it, scam baiting, calling tech support scams, wasting their time, so you guys don't get scams. I want to bring more awareness so you guys can understand, you know, the levels of scamming, like, don't fall for this, that's a scam, if you, if you see this, okay, yeah, that's a scam, so it's to bring awareness. I wanted to make a scam baiting video at one point, but I'm a little scared, though. I'm a little scared because these guys here, are, they, they're professionals, man, they're doing live streams with it. They professional and even there's another one called uh, Jim Browning. He's another fantastic uh, YouTuber that covers uh, the scam. So I study these scams because it's important. It's important to 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 learn the new scams. You get what I'm saying? Because you'll be you'll you'll understand it. You learn it. Maybe I'm going a little off topic. And the reason why I'm saying that is because if you allow somebody on your computer, let's say God forbid. You know, you have your webcam covered, so even if they access your webcam, they can't see anything. Any site you visit, for the most part, they're not going to get access to your webcam. But to be safe, then sorry, always have it covered because there's always a way when it comes down to these exploits. But back in the days, it was terrible. It was terrible. So that's why I have my webcam covered. I still have that webcam covered on my 2015 MacBook. I don't have it installed on my 2020 MacBook Pro um, just because I'm using the MacBook in clamshell mode so they can't see me anyway. Yeah, so just be careful out there. There's a lot of things to learn about when it comes down to security and I'm pretty sure Apple has it down locked thanks to the T2 chip. Their constant software updates and even on the Windows, you know, always be protected with your webcam covered now i think it's overboard covering up your ipad or iphone you know apple is locked down with the iphone the mac is still locked down but it's still a computer so you could still you know get into some problems but it's definitely not necessary to cover up your iphone definitely not who still use flash in 2020 in 2020 that's the death of flash anyway but there's always maybe that one loophole where you can turn off somebody's indicator webcam light and then boom, Apple will never call you about your computer. Microsoft will never call you about your computer. If let's say for example, you believe them and you know they're gonna ask you download TeamViewer or download any desk and then you, you gave them access to your computer. But you thinking that they're Microsoft or Apple, but that is just simply not the case. Most likely they from overseas, uh, mostly India. And then once they on your computer, what will happen is 
Um, they'll search, they do some BS, they do some command prompts, and then they do all of that just to get money out of you. So any infections that you have, quote unquote, even though that's fake, they try to charge you $500, $300 to remove the viruses off your computer. Phony stuff. Um, and then that's how they get you. But then if you don't pay, that's when the scammers, they get kind of feisty and they start turning on your webcam. They start locking you out of your computer, syskeying, which syskeying is gone now in Windows 10. Um, and they do the best they can to destroy your computer, lock you out, and the computer won't be no good anymore. And then, like I said, it goes back to the webcam. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm going a little deep with that, but I feel like not that many people know. And even so, they could pretend to be Amazon, Roku. Or even freaking, uh, I don't even know, Best Buy. It, it, the list can go on and on. It could be anybody, but it doesn't matter. They all going to target, they all going to basically do the same thing. They're going to say that you have a virus, and that's about it. And even so, another thing too you got to watch out for, uh, refund scams. You know, they, they might call and ask, oh, we owe you money. Microsoft is never going to call you. Apple's never going to call you indicating that you need, you know, you, yeah, you refund. Nah, man. Nah. <laughs> Just don't believe it. And then they're going to ask you to log into your bank account. <sighs> don't do it, guys. Just don't do it. That's all I have to say. I just wanted to talk about this. Um, I was debating if I should make this video. I want to bring awareness to scam baiting and, you know, just be aware of these tactics. So that's the whole reason why I wanted to make this video anyway in the first place. Yeah, that basically concludes today's video. Just a quick one. And, yeah, stay safe out there, guys. And, yeah, until next time.